Hey kids, welcome to Kids Church. I'm so glad you could be here today. Before we get into our lesson, I want you guys to answer some questions. Have you ever seen someone being bullied? Have you ever tried to stop someone who is bullying another kid? Why do you think some people are bullies? A lot of times people are bu bullied for being different or thinking differently than others. Today we're gonna look at a story from the book of Acts. In this story, Peter is being bullied by King Herod, Agrippa. Do you know why he was being bullied? It was because he was a Christian. Did you know that there are people in the world who are still being bullied for being a Christian? But don't worry, there's a way we can help. We'll talk about that some more in a few minutes, but first let's all stand and sing a song together. All creatures of our God and King up your voice with us and sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh, burning sun with golden beam, and silver moon with softer gleam. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Job. I know God loves hearing all your voices praising Him. Now let's say our big idea together. We should pray for Christians who are persecuted. Now let's get ready for our lesson. Hey kids, have you ever been bullied by someone? It doesn't really feel like right it, does it? Did you know there are Christians all around the world that get bullied because they believe in Jesus? Well, it's true, and the Bible says we should pray for those people. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Let's look at a story about Peter. King Herod threw Peter in prison. The adult word for when people bully Christians is persecution. And back in Peter's day, it happened a lot. And so Peter was thrown in jail under lots of guards because King Herod didn't like that he was a Christian. The whole time Christians were praying for Peter, then something amazing happened. God sent an angel to rescue Peter. There was a big flash of light, and an angel appeared in Peter's cell, and his chains fell off. The angel told him to get up and follow him. Peter and the angel walked right past the guards, and out of the city without anybody noticing. Wow, how incredible. So what do you think Peter did? Peter told believers that God answers prayers. As soon as he left the city, he went straight to meet some of his Christian friends. And then when they got there, they couldn't believe it. They were so excited to see Peter out of jail. He told them how he had escaped and how it was only possible because of their prayer. So kids, what does this mean for all of us? We should pray for Christians who are persecuted. 
Just like the people in the story prayed for Peter when he was being persecuted. We should pray for the Christians all around the world who are being persecuted today. God will answer our prayers and help them. A reverse! But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. So kids, remember that there are Christians all over the world that are being bullied because they believe in Jesus. And remember, just like Peter, they need your prayers. So what did we learn from the video today? Let's review. Why was Peter thrown into prison? For being a Christian. Why was Peter able to escape prison? The other believers prayed for him. True or false, we should pray for Christians who are being persecuted. True. That's right. Does anyone remember what persecuted means? Persecution is when you are bullied for what you believe. There are people all around the world just getting bullied because they want to follow Jesus. Did you know that in some places it's against the law to be a Christian? Well, it's true. In some countries, you can't even go to church without getting arrested. Even though we probably never met very many people who are being persecuted for their faith, we should still pray for them. God will help them to stay strong and sometimes he will even help them get away from the bullies. That reminds me of our memory verse. Let's all say it together. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed earnestly for him. Acts 12, 5. The word earnestly means really seriously. The followers of Jesus knew that if they prayed, God would hear them. So they all got together and prayed really hard that Peter would be safe. I bet they never would have imagined that God would send an angel, angel to break Peter out of prison. But that's exactly what he did. And as soon as Peter was free, he ran to find his friends. They all praised God for answering their prayers. God is powerful and willing to help people who need him. That doesn't always mean that he's going to break every single Christian who is arrested out of jail. But it does mean that when Christians are being persecuted, he will help them to be strong and to keep their trust in him. So be like Peter's friends and remember to pray for those who are being bullied for following Jesus. Now let's have a song at this time. You are, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. You are, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Okay, let's all say the big idea together one last time. We should pray for Christians who are being persecuted. Let's pray. God, we know that there are people all around the world that are being persecuted for following you. 
I pray that you'll help them be strong and that we can pray and know that they, you are always with them and just as you are always with us, amen. There are activity sheets and homework. Let's pray this week for disciples who live in countries where it's difficult to share their faith. Share with this someone this week about how God has helped you when you are in a hard situation. Now let's all stand and sing one last song together. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at His command and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and filled the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at His command and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. If you want more information on Kids Church or our programs, check out our website at www.phoenixchurchofchrist.org. See you next week.